Why hello there, and welcome to my daily long play stream. This is why I play through whatever my current game is at the moment for a couple hours just about each day at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time from Sunday through Thursday. As you can see, I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm playing again on the Xbox One, and I'm going to jump right into the story mode here. So, yeah, I've been um, playing this for about a week now. Uh, this is my sixth stream. And um, thinking about the first game, I was pretty close to the halfway point of the story of this at that after five streams. And here, that is definitely not the case. Um, this is obviously a much longer game. Uh, and it's going to take me longer to get through it as a result. But get through it, I will. Uh, I'm in a fortunate position, kind of. Where I have no other games coming out anytime soon that I want to play. And my backlog list is... Um, I've actually gotten to a lot of those games on my backlog. Over the past few months. So I'm actually feeling pretty good about that. All which is to say that I have plenty of time to relax and... Um, sort of sink my teeth into this. Now, yesterday I actually listened to some of... I actually listened to Giant Bomb's video review of this game. I guess you could call it that. It was really more like a podcast. Where they just sat around and talked about the game. A round table, maybe. I don't know. A panel. They just had some people talking about the game. And occasionally some footage of it would be sh would be shown. It was like a... A 40 minute video or something like that. And they talked about how much slower this game is. It's meant to be savored, not to be sped through. And I think uh, some of the difficulty I've been having personally is with the fact that I've been trying to sort of speed through it like I did the first game. And even though this is a sequel, or a prequel to the first game, depending on how much you care about that distinction, uh, it still is different enough to where we're trying... Me trying to play it like the first one is just going to be bad. So, I'm just going to take it easy. Just going to relax. Not going to worry. I learned a few things about the importance of some of the systems here in this game. And yeah, let me take a look here. Progress. I'm at 14% progress through the um, story. Now, there was a, um, general help. I'm not actually looking for that. I'm looking for a status screen for my character. If I can find it. Here we go, player. Maybe that's it. Arthur. Yep, there we go. Weight. Underweight. Temperature fair. Honor. Doesn't really say that. Health, 72% remaining. Okay. Doesn't say honor. Your honor will change. Doesn't actually list what my honor level is. got some perks here undiscovered perks yeah there's a lot going on in here but one of the things I remember them talking about from yesterday's giant bomb video of them talking about this is that a lot of these systems are more um, for flavor than they are in terms of how impactful they are in the game your overweight stamina will be affected negatively and health will improve if your underweight health and would be effective negatively, and stamina will be improved. Hmm. Apparently I am, quote, underweight. But the percentages it showed was only like 5% improvement to stamina and 5%... Uh, what's the opposite in improvement? 
5% worse health, roughly. So it's not that big of a difference. Not yet, anyway. Hello. Howdy. What's up? So let's uh, also take a look at the... Um... I keep hitting the wrong button. I meant to hit the satchel button. Which is right. Okay, so I have uh, less than $100 on me. These tonics here. Fully restores health, stamina, and dead eye. Fully restores stamina. And it's flashing there which one it actually affects. These tonics are apparently very important to have on you, as well as food, when you're in combat. Moonshine. Fully restores health, fortifies slightly, slightly damages health core. What? Okay. Hmm. I've still yet to figure out what happened to the money I supposedly got from, um, from that heist mission I did yesterday. Or that robbery, that train robbery mission. Well, I got all the fish you fools is about to eat. I think you're already. Okay, let's take a look at the map here. Why don't we start things off with a mission? There's my temporary horse, which is still sitting there. I'm hoping its owner will reclaim it, but I was never able to find them. Now the missions I have available are a Reverend Swanson, uh, Mary What's Her Face, and then we they want us to talk to Dutch. Why don't we go talk to Dutch? I think I'll do Dutch today and the Reverend Swanson. So let's start out with Dutch. How's that sound? There's room here. You want to sit? I'm alright. By the way, I am keeping an occasional eye in the chat, just in case anyone pops in. Arthur. Though it might take me a minute or so uh, okay. before I well, notice. I mean, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. It might take me a minute or so Good. before I respond. Because I'm not constantly looking at it. Is on it. Paying more attention to the game, I'll after all. West. Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! <laughs> What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging them. Here's open. Arthur, what? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right, Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No crazy business. I'm giving that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. So wait a minute, I have two missions? Get Come this on, kid into t it, into Dad. one town and then go to another? Alright. Okay, uh, let's take a look here. First, we're going into Valentine. Oh, there's already a marker here. Cool. 
But yeah, I'm saying uh, it might take me a minute or so before I um, am able to respond to any messages left in the chat here. So if I don't get to it immediately, just give me a minute. You just give me a little patience, I guess, and I'll get to it. I try to respond to everything. Got to find a more efficient way of saying that. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Mike a new, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Man, really? One of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. It happened like the strike of a match. Nothing about this town seems dry. up there and then. But I got away just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're going to go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was Trent that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now... I should warn you, me and a couple of the other boys got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. So wait a minute, why do we have to go to a saloon to get drunk when the last time I checked there was plenty of the spirits uh, in camp? Howdy. I don't know. The story demands that we go to Valentine. Now, supposedly, there are bigger, more impressive towns here in this game than Valentine. Obviously, Blackwater's going to be one of them, but this is an even bigger, more impressive one than that, I think. Look at that mud. Took a lot of rendering time, a lot of effort, a lot of artists to create mud as realistic looking as this. No, oh, I didn't even see that pitching pulse. One of the things I want to do today is I want to spend some time cleaning my weapons. And no, that's not a euphemism. That's uh, me not recognizing the importance of one of the elements of this game. Oh. Just one or two. Right off. Also, I gotta find a way to get more money so I can continue upgrading the camp. You, I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Thank you. <laughs> Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. Hey, man. I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Micah. A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. Oh, there, Duller. My lord. You men is dull. <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People have been leaving me alone for the last ten years. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. But me and the kid here, well, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense in ten. Figure that charming. No pleasing some folk. Just, just trying to be friendly <laughs> there we go I figured I'd want to do something that didn't escalate the situation it seems like they've had more than a couple oh great
Oh, great. Now we're walking around wasted, and we gotta find Lenny. Hey, where are you? Did he leave? The guy peeing in the corner. Oh no, not Lenny. Where's Lenny? Maybe he's up there. The visuals are getting are all warpy and distorted. Warpy is that a term? I think that's him. Of course, he has to be in the spot furthest away from the um from where I was. That looks like they're drinking hot sauce. Oh dear. Ah, dag damn it. How do you get down there so quickly? I mean, I can see where Lenny's at. Right? Ah, what? Went to a fight and a chorus line broke out. What, 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 what's going on here? Why am I outside? Funny, he keeps starting me back here. And this warped first person perspective here. As Great, everyone's Lenny. <sighs> okay. Okay, this is uh Oh man, I wish I could. So it's gonna make that. I know that's not the guy. He's the bartender. Okay, this game's getting weird. Shh, 
shut up. So what happened to us breaking this other guy out of jail? Yeah. Kind of like um that one crazy guy from ah GTA 5. Yummy. Who would just wake up on the top of a mountain. <laughs> I could replay that mission if I wanted to. All right, let's um, you have a moment here to get my bearings. Not entirely sure where I am. Check the let's check the map here. Looks like I'm not far away from the camp. as well as my next mission. Uh, the temporary horse is hanging outside the stable. And look, there's my horse. Oops. Uh, <laughs> this is an unfortunate situation. So, do I head back to camp? Or do I try to head back into town? Wait a minute. Do I have like a wanted level in Valentine or something? Nope. Alright, how do I get back to town then? I mean, I could just walk there on foot. What's this thing? I guess that's where that one guy is. We have to break out of jail. some plants on the way. It's going to be a long walk to um, 
back to camp. Or anywhere else for that matter. They're carrying possibly whiskey. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So, yeah, like I said earlier, I'm just going to sort of take it easy playing this game. Not going to be in any kind of hurry. Just sit back and enjoy it. Ginseng. All right. Well, there's the camp on the other side of this valley. I need to circumnavigate this hole in the ground so I can get there. Unfortunately, um, that's not necessarily going to help my situation all that much because my horse is not actually there. Hmm. Let me, let me think about this. Would it be more efficient if I skip the town, skip the... Always. Wonder if it'd be more efficient. I just went straight to Valentine. Gag, damn it. Now, if I had the upgrade to fast travel from the camp, it would be a lot easier. But I don't. I only had one horse in the camp. Hey, it's a bunny. Do you think it would be a problem if I borrowed someone else's horse? of the little black dots on the ground. Got some rifles there. Top up the water in the wash bin. All right. Where is the wash bin anyway? I guess this is the water. I need to find the wash bin. Be useful information for me to know, because I need to wash my face. Alright. Ammunition. Oh, over there, apparently. Let's hope for a better day. Ah, he found his way back. Cool. Ah, there's more of you there. 
You seem chipper. Here's a wash bin. Right? Can I use this thing now? Uh, can I use it now? I don't know. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Who spares me like that? I'll work hard. I am not a bad fella. You'll soon warm to me. Just see that I do. Oh, you will. Mm -hmm. Boy, mm -hmm. thank you for saving my life. Well, yeah, of course. Okay, let's get. Let's figure things out here. I need to get back to town to get my horse. That is my priority at the moment. I could find a wash bin, that'd be helpful. I don't need shaving yet. Hello. Good morning, Arthur. No. Maybe this is a wash bin. Nope. Dang, ma'am, I need to get back into town to get the, um, horse. <sighs> it's gonna be a long walk. Might as well get started. Just hold down the A button. I think tapping A makes you go faster, but I don't want that. I want to be able to have a nice, long, sustain jog like this. Theoretically, I should eventually get close enough uh, to the horse so I could whistle it to come to me, theoretically, not but again. not yet, because I need to increase my bonding with the horse to improve that. So yeah, I'm going to, um, after I pick up the horse, I'm going to go break that one guy out of jail, I guess. Yeah. That's funny, this area clearly looks like it, it, it's in Colorado, but from what I heard from listening to Giant Bomb's sort of review of it, is that this game goes as far east as Louisiana, at least. And as far west as either Texas or, like, New Mexico. Actually, there are some parts of this game that are 
areas that were featured in the first game. Obviously Blackwater, but even west of there, too. I don't think we'll get to Mexico, though. Okay. We're close enough to our horse. Hopefully. The horse ran that guy over. Hope he's alright. How are you, boy? Alright. Said so a new destination uh to here. Kapow. Hello. Thankfully, it didn't take as long as I feared it would. It's much faster once I actually got going. What? Okay, we are quite a ways away from there. some unsettling music playing at the moment. I don't know what that's all about. Hey! Hey, this way! You gotta help me out here, mister. Can you? Please! I've been on the run for days now. If you could help me with these shackles, I, I just might have a chance. You know? Oh, oh, oh yes. You mean like that? Yes. Perfect. Ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I got no money to give you, but I think I might got something even better. Some of those fellows talked about this old crone up north of Strawberry. Got herself a tidy sum locked away. Maybe just stories, but they were sure excited. Oh, yeah? Why'd I be interested in that, huh? Mm, I don't know, just a hunch. Up to you, friend. Mm. Yeah. This game's gonna be a long, slow burn. I wonder if it'll take as long as, um, Sekiro did for me. That would be more about the length of the game as opposed to me being particularly bad at it. If I was good at Sekiro, I would have gotten through that game much quicker. Much quicker than the 40 or odd or so episodes I actually played through it. I tried going through here before just to sort of explore, but, um, there was like a group of enemies hold up here doing something illicit no doubt and it wouldn't let me pass for whatever reason I don't know they didn't actually attack me it looked like they were robbing something but someone Now, supposedly there's a way to engage the cinematic camera and just sort of hold down A and it'll basically auto steer for you as long as you have a have a path set. So maybe I should try that. I think I need to hold down back. There we go. There's a... Let's say... Focus here. 
Okay, they put a lot of functions on this controller, and they accomplish that by distinguishing between tapping a button versus holding it down. And that's how they do that. That's how you activate cinematic mode as opposed to switching between the other different camera angles that this game has to offer. So you hold down the back button and um, hold it down long enough and eventually you'll get there. A circle will fill up. And as long as you have a, um, a waypoint set, you just you don't even have to hold down A, it looks like. Although, if you tap A, you can make your horse go a little faster. There we go. Now, here's a question. Will you automatically, like, avoid oncoming people? Oops, sorry. Accidentally bumped my elbow against the pop screen. That's right, I have a pop screen now. And a little foamy thing around the microphone. And it's significantly closer to my face as a result. Because I have it attached to this arm appendage thing sticking out the back of my couch. And as a result, I should sound a little bit clearer. A little bit louder. Because the microphone is closer to my face. Even with the gain turned down. Actually, it doesn't seem like it's all that much closer. I don't know. Yeah, look. That answers that question. There's a house there under construction. A dog. Look at that dog. Just what's your issue? I'm on autopilot there. I have no issue. Oops. Let's take a look at the map here. Looks like I'm close. What is your... Oh, I'm in bad sorts here. I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I'm staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Well, it's... Think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Shall I hop up there on, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? Well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little... Demeaning. All right. Well, the good thing is that he's already going in the direction. He's going in the direction I'm already going, and what apparently anyway? he's too dumb to follow the road, path. the trail. Uh, no, I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. <laughs> Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all, I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack, and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard, a little 
spoke woodwork and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all, more fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves and I'm up with some cowboy. And uh, no offense. Little taken. Little taken, that's a different way of saying it. Let's get... Yeah, that's, uh, the path. Got some nice tall trees here. Is this supposed to be the Pacific Northwest or something? guy's fortunate that I was already going to strawberry otherwise I just would have probably would have just left him really maybe we'll find out what that is Apparently, I no longer need to escort that guy. Uh, it looked lavender. So is this more or less impressive than Valentine? I'm not sure. I mean, it's on a hill, so that gives it the, the illusion of being bigger. Because it's harder to see all the buildings at once. That's a much nicer looking building than anything in um in Valentine. It's a log cabin. Looks nice anyway. Alright, why don't we find a place to park the old horse? You'll be all right. uh, actually, while we feed the horse while we do that. Is there a single hitching post anywhere in this town? I think there's one. Let's feed it. I think I have some carrots at least. Doesn't give me a choice of what to feed it, it's just feed the horse. How you doing, boy? There we go. That's good and healthy. I don't know if it's happy, but it's at least healthy. So Here's the jail. Conveniently marked jail. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay, so the bow is actually attached to the character model. Trail of a dangerous gang, Tomo Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mitt, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Let me out of here, you maggots! Cat, you think these bars can hold 
I could have parked my horse there. Let's go around here. I don't know, threatening to burn a town to the ground is not exactly the um something an innocent man would say. Find a way to free this guy. Find a way to free... What's his face? Yes. Hook that over the bar. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is going to be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Something tells me we're going to have to hightail it out of here very quickly. So I'm going to get my horse. I'm going to get my horse and uh, have him situated um, close by. I probably should have had him... Um, facing the other direction, but whatever. Apparently I was supposed to equip my bandana. Ah. Uh, I once again forgot to use that thing. I should have been using it in front of every mission that um, has me doing something like this. Where's my horse? No, seriously, where's my horse? Hey, what's up? Well, I'm sorry if I missed you there in the chat. I am um, playing this game here. Oh, 
Come on. Great. I think my horse may be dead. Forgive me, but I'd assume that the game would uh, insist on me getting out of here. my horse? I don't know. It's got my satchel on it, so... Okay, so I gotta remember from now on to use my... Dag damn it, I didn't see that horse there. Come on. I think this is my horse, so it didn't die. That's good. Pulled the left trigger to pull my gun out, but it didn't work. There are times when you pull the left trigger to um, talk to someone, you end up pulling your gun out, and then when you want to pull your gun out, it doesn't do it. I should probably get in front of this guy. Yeah, building up quite a boundary here. Okay, what? Oh. That was not a mission failure. I was me shooting that one guy. Okay, never mind. Sorry about that. Yes, we'll all be thanked profusely, I promise. 
Yep. Uh, thunderstorm, I gotta put away my metal weapons or else the lightning's gonna hit me. <laughs> I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. Did we now? My way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court just... Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back of strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. Right. You heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. I bet this lightning's gonna spook this horse. Offhand holster allows you to carry two sidearms at once and dual wield them. All right, cool. Is that bronze or is that gold? I'm gonna assume that's bronze. Let's take a look at the map here. I'm wanted in. Uh, that's a three hundred dollar bounty. Mm-hmm. Is it something I could eventually pay off, but so much for me being able to explore this area in peace. Let's head back to camp. Alright, that's uh, not, um... I'm gonna car set the rail tracks. Cross over here if I can. <sighs> How do I, um... I guess I can't do that, not easily. That could have definitely went better and also could have went worse, so whatever, I'll take it. Guess realistically, there wasn't going to be a stealthy way of breaking that guy out of jail, so... Alright, I'm out of the territory where I'm wanted. So that's good. Let's get um, let's get going here. We've got uh, more stuff to do. Let me take a look at where we could go to do that stuff. Oh yeah, I'm go here. Talk to this good reverend. That's one of the things I wanted to do today. I assume he's a good reverend. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. playing this game for a good 10 hours now and it feels like I've only scratched the surface. Probably because easy, I easy. I have only scratched the surface. Swanson, you. 
hear me? That's fine. Hey, doggy. Find a place to park the horse, I guess. Oh, there's a um, hitch right there. Wolf. Don't want it wandering off and getting run over by a train. That wouldn't be good. Trains can be lucrative robbery targets, so you can do that anytime you want. All right. Well, I'll keep that in mind, but that's not what I'm trying to do at the moment. What advice is that? Has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. Morpheus? No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him. He's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But seeing, I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. Oh. Well, how's about you playing this place? Huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Not really. I'm gonna say no to that. Camp partner. I don't mean to spoil your fun. I got things to do. You sure? Quite sure. I gotta get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. Where'd he go? I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Swanson. Where'd you go? Yeah, I didn't like the mini games in the first uh, Red Dead Redemption. I have even less interest in playing them here. Hey, Reverend. Once again, looking for someone who's drunk. At least I'm not drunk at the moment, which would make it even harder. Ah. Uh, it's going to be easier on horseback. Let's take a look at the map and what area they... Wow, that's a big area. Okay. Chances are he's going to be down this trail somewhere. Yep. Right? What? Why in the world did I pull out my bow? Dang, damn it. Okay, come on. I can hear the maintenance crew outside doing something loud.
Let's try this again. The Y pulled out the bow. That makes no sense. Look, it has me going in a different direction now. Maybe. Nope, never mind. Dang damn it. I was trying to aim my gun at him. Okay, dang damn it. I said stop, damn it. Okay, okay. Please don't hurt me. You tell anyone what you saw back there? You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I, I won't tell a soul. I promise. Good. Get the hell out of here. Let's go to the back. I wasn't trying to shoot that guy. I was trying to aim the gun at him to scare him off. But the controls didn't respond the way they did the first... I don't know. The, games can, the way the games can, this game controls is not consistent. Yeah, this can this game does not Hey, what? Dag damn it. The controls in this game are not precise. And as a result, I end up doing things I don't intend to do. And I don't do the things that I want to do a lot of the time. It appears to like this place. And what's the stay? Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you chunky bastard! Get it! Come on! Great. Good thing the horse got out of the way. You've been dumb. I wish I was different. Let's get you home. Home? Yeah. That's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But. Okay, looks like we have to take this guy home the hard way. Head back to camp, I guess. Well, yeah, I'm, I still have to get used to the way this game controls. One for the road. Yeah, you still wasted. Because the first time I, for some reason, pulled out my bow when I was trying to pull out my pistol. I hadn't selected my bow deliberately in a while, but it's like, hey, 
How about your bow? That's the answer, right? And the second time, I went to pull the right trigger to aim the gun at him, but it, instead it shot him. And I'm not sure why. Sometimes the game will have you pull left trigger to pull your gun. Sometimes you have to pull left trigger and then right trigger to pull your gun. And I'm not sure... Maybe it's when I'm within shouting range, pulling left trigger will target someone to talk to them or something. I don't know. And then if I'm not, I have to pulling left trigger will pull the gun. Talk about trigger on the controller, I mean. I don't know. Like I said, I, it's a lot about this game that I don't have a firm grasp on yet. But, I'm going to allow myself to make mistakes at this point, because even though I've been playing this for almost 12 hours, um, I'm still very early. Just need to settle down. Got the Reverend back. Mostly in one piece. Let me guess, his bed is going to be on the other side of the camp, right? She's going to walk deliberately in my way. You better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. All right. Let's take a look here. And I still have some sort of, not bounty, but uh, there I am wanted near Fort Wallace. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So what do we got left to do here? Any missions in the camp? Nope. Well, we can go up here and help Mary Linton. I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to do some more exploring. Got a couple missions done here. Probably eat something. Apparently biscuits don't restore all that much. Let's eat some beans. There we go. That's good.
Alright. Let's do a little exploring of the map here. I'm gonna head east. Uh, let's see here. Do I want to go southeast or northeast? It looks like, um... Southeast might be easier. Hmm. Let's go here. I'll put it in cinematic mode. Nice leisurely jaunt. How's that sound? Seems like a good pace. Damn folk won't leave me there. Hey, move. He was beating on me every day. I had no choice. Talk all you want, lady. You won't make no difference. Prison transport. Keep clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The game wants to make sure that you're supposed to interact with whatever that's going on, so they make it so you can hear it loud and clear, far past the point where you should be able to. And maybe it's just me, but I view these random chance encounters like that and like pop-up ads on the internet. They're annoying. They get in the way. Enjoy the visuals of this game. I'm going to have a heck of a time doing a uh, 4K HDR upload for this as part of my sample series, because normally I'd show like the first half hour of the game. But the first half hour of the game is not all that visually interesting. It's all in the snowy area. Maybe I'll uh, pull some footage of it after I've completed the game of just traveling the world. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't know. Look at that bunny. Ah, night is falling. Nightfall. Yeah. And a little bit of ghosting behind my character there for a moment. At least it looked like it. I don't know if that's coming across on the stream. I guess I'm at my destination here. Let's take a look at where we are. I mean, obviously I'm where I set the marker, but still. The reason I'm doing this is I'm not really in the mood for doing more missions. But I'm also not wanting to quit. Yeah. So I want to do a little exploring, that's all. I 
Alrighty, this is a very different looking area than well, any of the areas that we've been to thus far. Supposedly I'll get to an area that looks like Louisiana, New Orleans and such, but I assume it's in this direction. I don't know where. Yeah. Yep. See what the sign says. Easy. Whoa. Roads. What does that say here? Braith. Brath? Braith? What? Yeah. So too dark for me to read that text. If it were daytime, that'd be a different story. Maybe. So yeah, so last night I played a little more Yoshi's Island as part of my, for my Retro Monday stream. I got through another world. I'm now in World 3 there. <laughs> Maybe I'll revisit that game again some point in the future. For some reason I actually enjoy playing that more than I did Mario World. Which is probably strange, but at least it's honest. In any case, um, this tomorrow night for my Modern Wednesday stream, I'm going to be giving Bioshock a try. A game that I played the intro for a few times over the years since it came out. Never really sunk much time into it. Well, tomorrow I'll be doing just that. About an hour and a half's worth, and who knows, maybe it's a game I can do a future daily long play stream on. I don't know. Here we are, Rhodes. I don't have anywhere close to the money to pay off the bounty in Strawberry, so, yeah. Now, what's Rhodes supposed to be? What's this area supposed to be here? Oh, it's uh, a little something something pop up if I can get that to show up again. Scarlet Metals. Prim and proper southern town on the surface, but many residents can't forget the Civil War nor the town's pre war glory days. Okay. So it's funny, uh... Hmm. Up here is supposed to be like Colorado. And that's supposed to be like Louisiana. <laughs> Doesn't seem right with that distance. But whatever. How do you do? Hello. I thought that said no vaccines. <laughs> well, those front porches. I like a good front porch. Maybe it's just me.
are you talking to? gonna go this way. Yeah, definitely seems like a storm is brewing here. Now the map makes this uh, trail look much bigger than it actually is. Alright, let's uh, hold up here for a moment. Let me get my bearings on the map. Where am I? Kansas River? No, that's C A M A S S A Kamasas. Yeah, looks like it goes a fair bit east here, doesn't it? And right, see if we can even go this way. So maybe we'll take a train back to um, Valentine. Some wild boars. <laughs> Piggy. This area is looking a little swampy, isn't it? Now this is very difficult to see in. Deliberately so. Bayou, so this must be the New Orleans type area. And this must be the Mississippi River. Stand in. bridge. A lot of water under the bridge. Looks like here's a town, maybe? I certainly hear a train nearby. I don't see any train tracks, though. I wonder how this is coming across in the stream. C 
St. Denise. That looks like a factory there. Oh, there's the train. Cool. Now oh, it's parked right on the path. Oh dear. Looks like we can get through now, maybe. I bet this area, this city would look a lot more impressive during the daytime. Seems pretty big. during the daytime and if it weren't so foggy. And these oil lanterns. Sure ain't electric. Not yet. At least I don't think it is. That might be electric, right? That tall one. Oh, this seems like a pretty big city. Ah, holy crap, it is. It's like a... It's an actual city. Got multiple intersections here, not just, like, one. Bigger than any city in Red Dead Redemption 1. Blackwater's a shanty town in comparison to this. It's even less impressive in this game than it was in the first one because it's still being built. Streetcar line, I think. Is that one city they like to show a lot in the... Uh, videos over at Digital Foundry for performance reasons performance evaluations like dawn is breaking. That's good news. There's a trolley. Yeah, this is a very different setting than anywhere in, G in uh, Red Dead Redemption 1. It's actually urban. Oh, now this compares to the size of the cities in, like, San Andreas. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, that is. A newspaper.
Oh, the people lined up here. Imagine telling you're gonna get more crowded as morning turns to noon and such. There's the sun. Yeah, this must be the New Orleans standing right here. I'll take that. What if I can actually get breakfast from one of those places? Alright. Instrument maker. Nautical and scientific? What? Oh, right. For some reason I was expecting it to be like musical instruments. Fresh produce stores. Now, can I like go to any of these places and buy stuff? This description A lively 200 year old melting pot city where industry magnets, socialites, traders, sailors, blah blah blah, live side by side. Good rail, road, and river connections for sugar for various trades. Okay, cool. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any way across uh, whatever body of water that is. Ooh. I assume that was salutations of some kind? I don't know. Hello. Everyone's either friendly or they want to start a fight just because you walked within shouting distance of them. That's how you know they're brainless C uh, NPCs. I wonder if they'll ever develop good artificial intelligence for. NPCs where they don't seem like morons, but actual close proximities for real people. Look at this view. if there will be a Red Dead Redemption 3 that takes place even further east like perhaps across this river let's get the um river boats Even a little boat like that is steam powered. Interesting. Lighthouse, I wonder if I can get there. My horse that's making a fuss, maybe it's hungry. Hungry horse? Probably. I don't know, I'm hungry. In real life. Maybe it's time I... Maybe I should spend a little time maintaining my gun here.
How much of that oil do I even have? Apparently I need more gun oil. Hmm. I could find a gunsmith in town. Alright, so let's take a look at the map here. Where should I go? Photo studio. Okay. Saloon, right? Salon and saloon only have one O separating them. <laughs> Just saying. I wonder if anyone has ever thought to combine them. Taylor. And they look roundabouts. Those shouldn't exist. Anyway, uh, I'm going to head north. I'm going to head north. I don't know what that area is. Is that like a cemetery or something? Hmm. I need to find my way through here somehow. Oh, that's that guy playing his guitar. Sounded like the music from that um, Ken Burns documentary about the um, Lewis and Clark expedition. It's nice. Very acoustic makes sense because it's coming from an acoustic guitar well i guess that was not as uh, far away as i thought it was all right um yeah we're gonna mosey on up the um along the coastline here well i do have a few things i want to do today none of them are routine none of them are like the routine chores i normally get done on monday it's more like uh project type stuff Not that that matters to anyone but me, but whatever. Someone call my name? What? I think anyone would know me out here. How far... Got this red area over here. Wonder what that's all about. Right, follow this trail north. The further away I get from camp, the more and more likely. Ah, crap. That was an alligator. Okay, what's this guy's problem? All right. Guess I'll do a good Please deed for once. Do something. I'll get you help. Just stay alive. Okay. Okay. 
almost got attacked by an alligator there because I wasn't paying attention. Or more to the point, I wasn't expecting it. Or how far away is it? Eek. That's pretty far. It's right back in town, isn't it? At least I fed the horse recently, so it should have plenty of stamina to go riding. Where am I? Don't you give up now? I'll put a sock in it. Save your strength. Less time complaining, more time not focusing on not dying. How's that sound? Okay, would everyone stop getting directly in my way? I go, Rumba. This wasn't that far away. Don't mind me. You say I don't have to say, argue with him right. to get him to fix Sit him up. Looks like a dentist's office. Whoa, look at that blade, that saw there. What happened? Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment. But we'll deal with that later. All right, all right. A lot of blood loss. This wound's badly infected. I'll save as much as I can, but... I have to amputate. What? What did you say? Try to breathe. Uh... All right. I don't you actually need to watch that, nor do I want to. All right. I guess I did a good deed, made a little money. I wasn't expecting him to give me anything, but whatever. Let's go back to the map and back to the direction I was trying to go to. There we go. Good morning, yeah. Switch to cinematic mode. Maybe it's not a good idea if I tried to do this in an urban setting. Ah, the camera's getting all wonky here. <laughs> okay, how about if we not do that? I'm sorry. Come on, get clear. A brewery, huh? That's where the beer is made. Some nice houses here. Look at that. More like a mansion than a house, but whatever. See, I'm thinking about tonight uh, doing some sort of online multiplayer game and streaming that. I'm not sure what or even if I'm going to do that, but I'm um, thinking about doing that. The reason why I'm thinking about doing that is because uh, the series I've been watching, uh, Stargate Atlantis, or 
rewatching, I should say. I finished it. And I don't really have anything else planned for tonight after I um, get my, my handful of projects done that I'm going to work on today. So I think I might as well do something like that. It's funny, I never ended up driving a car in, G in um, excuse me, in Red Dead Redemption 1. I thought I might end up doing that, but nope. I ridden in the back of one a couple times, but never driven it. And cars are much less likely to be in this game than that. It's 1899, not 1911. Yeah, let's get a let's get my bearings as to where I am. I mean, I'm actually not that far away. I'm actually closer now to areas I've already been to than I was. Maybe. I'm gonna head north here. I'm just exploring the map. That's all. Just exploring. This game is not gating me in a way that, like, the old GTA games used to. And by that, I mean, like, 4, I guess, was the last one that did that. I mean, San Andreas, you would, uh, be, you'd get a wanted level if you went to part of the game you weren't supposed to go to. Like you went from the initial Los Angeles area to either San Francisco, the Las Vegas or the San Francisco area, you'd immediately get like a five-star wanted level. They did that because in that game you could actually swim. So you could actually swim across the bodies of water. Now I never played enough of that game to actually unlock them via the story. I just used cheat codes to eliminate wanted levels and that's how I was able to explore them. I'm, I was not a fan, and still am not a fan of San Andreas. That's my least favorite GTA game. Which is funny, because if you ask most people, it's probably their favorite. Mine is still 3. My favorite GTA game is still 3. Because it's the first, as far as I'm concerned. So you think if I tried to swim across there that I would get a that I'm wanted there? What? Yeah. I don't know. Hey, there's that lighthouse I saw. New Hampshire? I'm in New Hampshire? What? Make no sense. Here's another town. Seen several new towns today, apparently. Strawberry. Sandalies, whatever this place is. Van Horn, I guess. Look how much fog there is. This kind of looks like Pacific Northwest. Except it's east of here. So that can't be it. I doubt it's New England. So I don't know. Wolf. I don't know what this is supposed to be. It's a stable up there. Stagecoach.
Hmm. Doesn't say what kind of river that is. What that river is, I mean. Hmm. I guess I'll keep riding. Not necessarily trying to circumnavigate the map or anything. I'm just wanting to see uh, what there is to see. That's all. So I could just a trail leading off north off this loop here. So I'll go there. At some point, I'll head back. And I guess when I get back to the camp, I'll call it a day. It'd say I wanted to explore, and you can't say I didn't do that. Or I say I didn't do enough, but you can't say I didn't do it at all. Look at that. Is that a lumber mill or something? areas around here. Hello. Here's a forest that has been forested, actually. So yeah, that's definitely a lumber mill. I thought that was a train coming, but no, that's that wagon making that noise. This might actually be a town. There's a mine. Mining and Coal Company. I don't think they're talking to me. Look at that train. Oh yeah, this is looking more like a town. Obviously a mining town, but still. Smokestacks. Whoa. I wonder if at any point I'll be able to get in a boat and roll around or something. Do you think I could take a steamship or a paddle boat back to close to where camp is? I don't know. I was about to say, yeah, I wonder if that's like the border, the edge of the map. But no, I might be able to go that way, maybe? But yeah, that's definitely a town. Let's read what it says here. Ansburg. Is that like Pittsburgh? Is that Pittsburgh? I don't know. New Orleans, Pittsburgh... I don't, I don't know. Seems unlikely. I can move my cursor over here, but for some reason it won't go that way. Hmm. 
the trail doesn't go that way. That must be some sort of border. <sighs> okay, um... I'm reaching the limits of the map here. Oh, what's going on there? Someone got hanged. Not in a good way either. good way to be hanged. Yes, or is it hung? Yeah. Just sort of a lazy low-key day today. Lazy low-key stream to go along with this lazy low-key day. Fall there. It's going to be very difficult for me to figure out an area in which I would even want to do a four, uh, focus on in a 4K HDR upload. There's so many areas. Like, would I want to, um, show this waterfall? I don't know. Hmm. Where am I on the map exactly? The horse is hungry. Yep. Cinematic mode. No thanks. I'm just passing through here, game. I wonder what happened if I set the marker back to um camp.
Alright, uh, yeah, how about if I, um, do this? Head back to camp here. And then I'll call it a day. A nice, relaxing stream. I certainly explored a lot of the game, at least a lot of the eastern part of it. Although, as you can see, there's still big gaps in the areas I didn't get to, like specifically this stretch right here. And I sort of went around. I also did not go south into this area. Yeah. But I'll save that for when the game actually wants me to go to those parts of the map as far as the story goes. Got a few missions. I got at least a couple missions done today. Well, I'm probably going to get to the point where I want to do more than just two missions in a stream. Or however many it was I did. Oh dear. And, um, yeah. Thing I fed the horse. Got a long way to go here. Yeah, it's just on auto ride in cinematic mode. that bunny run. Oh, hey, you there. Think you can help me? No, sorry, not today. I am heading back to camp and I got a long way to go. Maybe this would be a good approach for a 4K HDR video, just sort of um, having it be on auto ride in cinematic mode like this. Going from one side of the map to the other. That might be a worthwhile approach. I don't know. That sounds like a good idea.
I wonder how close I am. Yeah, not as close as I thought. Well, I guess I'm about halfway there. Unfortunately, the game doesn't really come out and say what some of these cities are actually supposed to be analogous to in, in real life. Like that one steel mill, I doubt that that's actually Pittsburgh. But I can't think of what it's supposed to be a representation of. The game already established that it's taking place near, somewhere near Colorado, Texas, and Louisiana, somewhere within those areas, based on the fact that that one big city down south was pretty much New Orleans. I don't know. Look at that sky there. Yeah, this game's a looker. It is a looker for sure. that guy doing whatever he's doing to that horse again. Are we there yet? Yeah, we're actually almost there. Cool. That's good news. We're almost there. Well, folks, I'm about to call it a day here. But before I do, I just want to take a moment to thank you for watching. I appreciate when people take time out of their day to watch my streams or my videos, even if it's just to pop in and say hello. Uh, just as a quick reminder, I do a stream like this almost every day at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time from Sunday to Thursday. I do a retro stream on Monday night at 8 p.m. And a modern stream on Wednesday night at 11 p.m. Those are all Eastern Standard Times. And I also do 4K and or HDR uploads on Fridays that usually publish on Saturdays. So this week... Tomorrow night, for Modern Wednesday, I'm doing Bioshock, the Xbox 360 version, but I'm playing it on the Xbox One via backwards compatibility. So look forward to that, 8 p um, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow night. And for Friday, I'm going to be uploading some 4K footage of Sonic uh, Generations running on the Xbox One X via backwards compatibility. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the moment. And as always, I will be back here tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for more Red Dead Redemption 2 on the Xbox One. I think that just about covers it. I'll have to figure out what, if, or, and what I'm going to do tonight if I decide to do some extra streaming, some online streaming. I don't know yet, but we'll see. But if I do something, it'll be at 8 p.m. tonight, Eastern Standard Time. I made a fool of myself again. We've all done that, Reverend. I'm bitterly ashamed. 
ashamed enough to change your way? We'll see. But yeah, like I said, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take it easy.